In this video, I'll do three things. Explain why you should do a germination test, show you a new, improved way to do it, and then explain how to use the results to better manage your seeds. This method works for any kind of seed, including vegetables, annuals, perennials, houseplants, shrubs, and trees. If you are like me, you never use up all the seeds in a seed pack, and then you sit and wonder, can I still use these seeds, or should I buy new ones? It is an important question that can only be answered by doing a germination seed test. I'd rather order in winter than find out in late spring that nothing is growing. A second reason for doing this test is to check seed that you collected yourself or that you got from a friend. The seed may have been collected at the wrong time and may not germinate. In some cases, the plant never develops the seed correctly. You have two options here. Plant the seed and see if they grow or do a germination test first. Doing the test can save you a lot of time and it gives you some gardening to do in the winter. The germination test is also a good way to compare different germination and storage conditions. For example, you can try some in the dark and some in the light, or try warmer and cooler temperatures. This test will tell you which procedure produces the most seedlings. To do the germination test, you will need to select 10 seeds. The accuracy of your results depends very much on how well you select these seeds. You want a random selection that includes small ones, large ones, brown ones, and black ones. If you don't select the seeds randomly, the results will not represent the whole batch of seeds you have. This is a good, unbiased way to select random seeds. Make a pile and divide it in half. Take one of these new piles and divide it again. Keep doing this until you have about 10 seeds left. Add or subtract a seed or two if needed. Next, prepare the baggie that you will use for the test. You will need a sealable bag, and I like to use the smaller snack bags, but any size works. You also need a piece of paper towel that is cut to fit inside the bag. Insert the paper towel in the baggie and add a few drops of water to completely wet the towel. The water helps the seed to stick to the towel and stay in place and it is required for germination. Next, add the 10 seeds. I am using 10 seeds to make the math easier, but you can certainly use any number of seeds, and a larger amount will give you a more accurate result. But for most home gardeners, 10 works just fine. Seal the bag, label it, and store it upside down so the roots don't grow into the paper towel. This is a minor, but very critical point. Step 3 can be a bit trickier. Now it's time to treat the seed the same way you normally would to germinate them. If they need cold stratification, put them in the fridge. If they need dark, put them in a drawer. Most vegetables germinate just fine at room temperature with a bit of light. The important point here is that you treat them the same way you will treat them later. That way the germination rate will match the seed treatment used. If you want to compare different germination methods, prepare several bags and treat each one differently. Now it's time to wait. Check on the seeds periodically to see if any have germinated. Once germination starts, check them daily. One of the big advantages of this method over the folded paper towel method is that you don't have to open the bag and unfold the paper towel each time you want to check the seeds. You can easily see them right through the clear bag. Normally, seeds germinate over several days or even weeks. Once seeds stop germinating, it's time to count them. How long does it take for the seeds to germinate? Well, some types of seed will germinate in 24 hours. Others, like hot peppers, can take 3 to 4 weeks. Clematis can easily take 10 months. Each type of seed is different. Most vegetable seeds are fully germinated in a couple of weeks. Now multiply the number of germinated seeds by 10 and you will have the germination rate. For example, if 7 out of 10 seeds germinated, the germination rate is 70%. Now that you've done the germination test, how do you use this information? If you get 70 to 100% germination, you can use the seed as normal. There are always some dead seeds in every pack, even when they are new. If you get close to 50%, then you can either buy new seed 
or just use twice as many seeds as usual because you know half of them won't germinate. If the value drops below 30%, it is probably time to buy new seeds, unless of course these are precious or rare. Even at 30%, some will turn into plants. If none of the seeds germinated, it indicates one of two problems. Either the seed are all dead, and you might as well throw them away, or you use the wrong method to germinate the seeds. If you think that might be a problem, try a different method. What do you do with the germinated seeds? You can simply throw the whole bag away, or you can pot up each seedling and they will grow just fine. The method I have shown you for the germination test is the same method I use to germinate most of my seeds, and I have a separate, more detailed video about germinating seed using the baggie method. You should see a link to this video in the top right hand corner of the screen.